RoboCop is a sci-fi action classic that is violent and awesome, and it's filled with satirical and allegorical references. And the president's first press conference from the Star Wars orbiting peace platform got off to a shaky start. Oh yeah, and the president is in outer space. I feel like they should have devoted way more time to that. RoboCop takes place in Detroit where the evil corporation Omni Consumer Products has entered into a contract with a financially burdened city and are given complete control over the underfunded Detroit Police Department. Detroit is a crime-infested wasteland and Vice President of Omni, Dick Jones, unveils the ED-209 Urban Pacification Unit. The ED-209 is bulky, cumbersome, and doesn't work. He is like my neighbor, New Sultan Tuliagbay. He is pain in my assholes. Ha! What's that? Oh, we're not doing Borat impressions anymore? When'd that happen? You will never get this. You will never get this. No? The demonstration of the ED-209 doesn't quite go well. You know, I once had a meeting at work where a frayed cord on the overhead projector started to smoke, so I know exactly how these people feel. Frightened, but happy to be alive. Bob Morton takes advantage of Dick Jones' epic f up and pitches the RoboCop program to the old man. The program can be up and running just as soon as they find a suitable volunteer. In an unrelated storyline, Alex Murphy has just been transferred to the Detroit Police Department and he's partnered with Officer Lewis. I better drive until you know your way around. I usually drive when I'm breaking in a new partner. Murphy, I know you're an alpha male and all, but getting horribly lost in a city that you're not familiar with is extremely alpha. My man. Murphy and Lewis get a call about a crime in progress and begin to chase down Clarence Boddicker and his gang of ruffians and no good nicks. Clarence Boddicker was a Korean War veteran who lived an unassuming life as a family man in Wisconsin. That is, until the pressures of an overbearing wife, a son who was a dumbass, and a daughter that was a bit of a whore, coupled with the guilt of the atrocities committed during the Korean War, caused his mind to break and he changed his name from Red Foreman to Clarence Boddicker and moved to Detroit. It totally works in every way, so do not try to poke holes in this or you will be banned from this channel for life. They track the gang to a steel mill where they get the drop on Murphy and execute him. The doctors try to save him, but Murphy dies, and Morton decides he's the perfect candidate for the RoboCop program. Primarily because he was the first cop to die right after announcing the project. RoboCop is bound by his three prime directives, which dictates how he acts, along with a classified fourth directive. Also, he's a computer program who will go down his checklist one by one, so by definition his actual prime directive is to serve the public trust, and then everything else is just considered his other directives. No, no! I am not nitpicking. I am merely pointing it out. RoboCop is initially a success as he manages to stop a robbery, an attempted rape, and a hostage situation. I feel like people forget that the most badass aspect of RoboCop is the fact that he has to eat baby food. <laughs> How metal is that? Bob Morton finally gets access to the executive lounge and he learns pretty quickly that no one respects proper etiquette in the executive bathroom. For me and on the bottom line, pal, I hear Jones was plenty Eyes forward, dude. Dick Jones then lists off all the ways that ED-209 is anatomically correct. Iron butt. Boner. Really unnecessary features. No wonder the damn thing didn't work. Dick just got done pooping and he hasn't washed his hands yet. And now Morton's hair is going to smell like poop. That is an alpha move if I ever saw one. You better pray that that unholy monster of yours doesn't screw up. Or what? Dick, your ED-209 design straight up killed someone in a boardroom and not only did you not go to jail, but you still have your job. I seriously think the only way to be let go at OCP is if you're murdered out. RoboCop has robo dreams about being shot and kind of freaks out. Definitely makes Robocop lose some of the coolness factor. I'm Ann Lewis. Do you have a name? I'm told as Robert Coppington, but they were snickering when they said it, so now that I think of it, they may have just been teasing me. Give me all your money, bookworm, or I blow your brains out. Now fill it up on number seven. 
You know, I'm no master criminal, but you should probably fill up your getaway vehicle before the robbery. You a college boy or something? I bet you think you're pretty smart, huh? Smart enough to know to fill up my getaway vehicle before the robbery. Drop it! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. But with my recent track record, it will most likely be dead. But with just like a ridiculous number of bullets in you. Most likely concentrated around the genital area. Robocop checks the police database and starts to put the robo pieces together and realize that he's Alex Murphy. He goes to his old house and... Who the hell staged this house? When I was trying to sell my house, my realtor gave me for having family pictures in the house. Oh yeah, but this realtor can just leave actual trash lying around? Did you think that they turned him into a machine, but kept his testicles? Kind of like a video game boss's weak spot? Robocop tracks down Boddicker, but Boddicker is a ruthless criminal and a consummate professional, so Robocop is gonna have to try pretty hard to get any information- You, uh, kind of used up your only real bargaining chip there, Clarence. Robocop goes to OCP to arrest Dick Jones, which unlocks Prime Directive 4 which results in shutdown of Robocop if he tries to arrest any senior member of OCP. <laughs> Was it necessary to program in a terrified screeching baby pig sound effect? I'm just going on the record now as saying the Ed 209 is not a very good robot. Dick Jones then recruits Boddicker to destroy Robocop. Boddicker's gang manages to get the drop on Robocop. <laughs> uh, no? Give it up a little. Jesus, I'm trying my best here. Boddicker forgets the first rule of cyborg police. They are still capable of killing you with just their arms. Robocop then goes to OCP to arrest Dick Jones and shoots him out the window and reveals that he was actually some weird disproportionate puppet the whole time. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. Oh, nice. So he really is still Murphy after all. And now that we've established that, I'm sure the series will never question it again. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And be sure to check out some fantastic robo swag in the link below.